Beginners move around too much. Yes. They move around way too much. You can generally tell if you look at like high level like Dutch kickboxing sparring, the dudes would be like this close. Like, you know, they're standing right there. But beginners, I see this a lot when a new little guy is like, hey, I'm having trouble closing the distance with my sparring partners. He's likely sparring with other beginners. So he's moving in, trying to get him, and the dude is like, and he'll move like this way, and he'll run, and then the guy will run away, and then he moves forward, the guy runs away, and they just throw one or two shots and then run. One or, one or both of them, or worse, like we talked about in the going backwards video, I try to make my way in, I eat a jab, right? Boom, and then I bail out and run away because I got touched one time. If they're running, let them run. Before we go any further, I need to address. When we're doing, when we have gloves and shin guards and stuff, we're doing sport-based techniques and strategies for your sparring or MMA or boxing or kickboxing, Muay Thai, whatever. When I say, never go backwards, and they're like, yeah, right, tell that Israel Adesanya, he fights going backwards. I'm like, he's not a beginner struggling to figure out why he's not having success in sparring. We are identifying a common mistake that beginners make. They go backwards too much. Then we even do the video, like, here's some ways that you can fight backwards. And they're like, yeah, right, you'll get knocked out going backwards. Like, so you can't win. But what if they go backwards? Pretend for an instant that you're down at the scrubby end of the mat <laughs> and all the pros are down there, right? That happens in a lot of gyms. Yeah. Um, and you're, and you're, the guy is running from you. You don't have ropes. You don't have a cage. You don't have a wall. You have kind of sort of artificial barriers that new guys often don't respect. So if you go to move, we are not going to chase him. If he circles off that way, right? I'm just going to turn and look how dumb he looks. You know what I mean? Look how stupid he looks. He ran all the way over there and I didn't chase him. So then I'm going to stand right here and you bring your ass back over here, right? And now I'm going to come in pressure you again. Run away again. Run away again. Look how clownish that looks. And you think, well, that would never happen. Try it. Try it on a taller beginner to intermediate. Watch what happens. You pressure him. He starts trying to get away from you or whatever. And you just do like this. Start moving sideways. He has to come back to you. Now, don't reverse rolls. When you start to come back to me, I'm not going to start running away. If you're shorter and you want to gain distance, if you can make them come to you, that cuts down the work that you have to do. But let's slow this down a little bit. Let's talk about what is actually happening from a like ring generalship, ring positioning thing. That's a thing that most beginners lack. They're just trying to go land shit. They're not thinking about position. If this was like the ropes or the wall or whatever, all right, and I back Cliff up through head movement or pressure or whatever, and I back him up, and he goes to start to circle, right, and I do the typical thing of circling with him, I have now put myself on the ropes. I'm going to show you kind of like the footwork for cutting side to side and when to do it. If he's moving side to side, I'm going to create kind of like an arc. If he runs this way, I arc away and come in to pressure him. He'll run that way. I move out a little bit and then back in. It's just like playing defense in any sport, right? If I'm trying to block you, like if you're trying to get past me with a ball or whatever, and I run right up to you, he can get around me. I have to give him enough space to mess up, to kind of communicate to me which way he wants to go. If I give him a little space, I know which way he's going to go and I can kind of corral him in. If he moves away from me, I'm still going to go side to side, but I'm going to eat up that real estate. So if you move that way, I'm going to stay just outside of range. Now go back this way. I stay just outside of range. You do need to know how to circle though for when they come forward or they you think they're going to escape anyway then we need to start adjusting our circle but now freeze in this moment the big mistake people make is they'll continue to go this way and not start cutting this way let's look at this one again because i think this is important i think this is a little detail that a lot of people miss let's go this way this time right. so that uh they can see it if he comes forward and i and i don't think i can cut him off or push him back with my punches or kicks or whatever start coming forward and i do need to circle most people will then do this, and we end up here, right? That's that sort of beginner, intermediate, amateur level footwork, right? Watch this carefully. If he does come forward and I decide to circle, we get to here. I still have the middle. That's sort of me still winning. 
I need to change my footwork to start matching with him and putting him back. Now I'm thinking about going the other way, right? And now I track with him. Don't just follow him as he circles because you will find yourself on the ropes. One drill we do in here, like when we have, you know, small groups, is we'll use the bags as a reference point to kind of help a person learn, like, which way they should be going. So, like, I'll give Cliff a one, two, and I have to move out and then back in. And this, you know why people don't like to do this? Because it's exhausting. Yeah. It's exhausting. They want to do this. This is that sort of amateurish way to move around. Yeah. This is exhausting. This is much easier. That's why people like to circle. And they circle and circle and circle. Right? Get in the ba ba. Move with him. Whoosh, whoosh, and come ba ba. Sending him back in every time he tries to come out. Now, if you want more fitness tips, self defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. <laughs>